In the next tutorials we will build a simple to-do list app and for this we will erase some parts of our um, beginner application here. So we will delete these variables, we will delete our actions, call this to-dos, we will delete our drawer completely don't need it and we will in our column delete our radio buttons and check boxes and everything and we also can delete our column all right so we want to build a to-do app and we also can get away. We want to make a list of items and display it, display them in a list. Therefore we will firstly uh, make our list, list of items and then display, uh, display them in our body. This can be done like this. We make our list, say new list, or just list, and then we need to call a method called init state. And with this init state we initialize our state. And this means it gets uh, called when our app gets uh, started and sets our state. So it also renders items to um, our UI. So here we can add items to our list and then connect this list to our body and then our body gets rendered when our list starts. So we can say list add and here we just add maybe number one and then duplicate it sometimes just put these items here and now we want to display this list in our body and we can use something called a list view builder list view builder And here we need an item count and this item count should be as long items length or list length as long as our list. And then we need an item builder which builds our uh, different items in our list. So with our item count we get the length of our list. We need to give it um, a number and the item builder will build as many as are in our list. So we use our item builder and we must give it a build context, just call it context and an int index. And then we want to return something and we can return something here which is called a dismissible. This dismissible has some nice um, features. You can simply drag this dismissible out of your application. So that's why it's called a dismissible. So it has like a, um, a remove functionality right built in it and it needs a key and for this we give it uh, the key um, maybe the index should be fine or index to string yeah we need to make the index here um, a string our key wants a string and we can simply say index and then call to string to make 
our index, which is an integer, to a string. And then we give it a child, and the child should be a list tile. And this list tile just needs a title. A title should be a text widget in our case, and we simply want to set our list and give it the index here. Don't need that. And that should be all for now. We just restart our app and we should see a list of items. Uh, not sure. Yeah. So this is our list of items. We've got number one, number two, number three, and number four. And we can now take these items and drag them out. That's our dismissible. We can simply drag them out one by one. In the next video we want to add our add functionality down here, our fab button, and add then some more items.